Okay, so this is the one that I think you should get. We're going to look at both of them, the other ones down there. Across from that manufactured home right there, that kind of tan one on the left. And excuse, we're going to go into the sun a little bit, but you can still see the neighborhood. There will be two houses here, one on this side and one over there. Okay. This is the garage. It is a finished garage. Water heater goes over there. You can see that loop that the trash bag is hanging on. That's actually where the water softener goes. And then the loop above it is where you would build a shelf for a reverse osmosis for the drinking water. It does have a side access going out, a door. And the mission finish walls, which are kind of a smooth finish instead of a knockdown. So just a little up close look at them. That's kind of what they look at, look like. They're really smooth looking. And then they will paint over them. Obviously, these haven't been painted. These are just raw. The doors are still the natural wood trim, so they will be stained to whatever cabinet color you choose to match that. You asked me about the gates. There's not really room for double gates on this one at all anyway, so no need to worry about it. There is a single gate on this side. It's kind of a wider gate, so it is a good, good gate. <laughs> this one is just a little bit further along, but I still think the other one is better. This one actually has the uh, stamped and stained concrete. I don't know, you can see it a little bit. Already finished this way. Hey. <laughs> okay, so this is what it would look like as we walk through the front door. And that's where the kitchen's going to be over there, and where that wire is sticking out of the ground is where the center island is. There will be a wall of cabinets there. And then this is the master. Double sinks on this wall. Toilet goes directly in front of us. And then this is the walk-in shower. You turn your faucet on there and you go around the corner. And there it is. You can see it's a dirt on the floor and that's because they put in a different thing and then they tile the floor in there. Looking back, that hole up there is where the ceiling fan's going to go. And first bedroom here to the right. Bathroom to the left, sink goes there. There's a cabinet and then it ends there. There's space for like a laundry basket or something and then the toilet is right there. And the tub is right there. This section here will have another cabinet in it. Second bedroom closet. And third bedroom. With a closet tucked over in here. This one, the wall um, for the TV, it looks like they're mounted up there in this room. I'll look at the other ones. I didn't check that. Yep, they're all mounted up there. I would call that a freebie bonus. Yay! Alright, we'll have to go look and see what the other one is the same way. Because that is a nice feature. And same thing in here. Two ceiling fan outlets out here, and a regular standard depth patio, and this is the backyard. So this is the first one. This is the first one across the street from the manufactured homes because we didn't have the key for the other one yet. We're working on that now. Same thing on the gate here. 
The only difference is the manufactured home. I mean, it's very nice, well kept, well taken care of for sure, but I do think the other one down the street is better. Just for that reason. Looks like the, I wonder why two outlets in the garage up here. Hmm. I'll have to check to see if the other one has the same thing. I can see the wires coming down for the lights on either side, but I don't know why there's two electrical outlets up in the ceiling.